Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 3. My name is Mikey Dubs and I have made an executive decision. I was looking at my gear and I was also looking at my past runs and I was, I was saying, okay, I haven't been as efficient as I could have been. So I have my Rowan's Call back on and I was actually farming a whole bunch of Iridium. You can see in the bottom right, 30,000 Iridium. That is me farming it in the Voracious Canopy doing some crazy strats, but I'm not going to go over it right now. But... This Rowan's Call, I was thinking about rerolling its anointment, but so I came to check it, and it's got fadeaway active weapon damage increase. So I think we're absolutely fine to run this. And so we're going to go with a Revolter. We could go Super Soldier just to show how it could do the same thing. So let's just see how this goes. We have a Hunter Seeker. We finally got one. It's not Mitosis or anything, but we are farming world drops with our Schluter. And we have our Bounty Hunter with weapon damage, weapon handling, and pistol damage, which would make the light show the overall best, but... This fight, I feel like a lot is about managing your ammunition. So that's what I think the Roman's Call has a little bit of an advantage. And I have Rack, Rack Attack on. That just simply cannot be. So I have my attempts in the top left corner for you guys. I hope that works out for you. I have mine in the same spot now. I usually actually swap mine to the, to the right. And I want to make sure that didn't mess up. Oh, it did mess it up. I might have to save these splits. And I'll pause it while I fix this editing thing real quick. Give me one second. Okay, so that should be fine. We should be back. And I was also thinking about respecking at some point. So I'm sure I haven't even checked my build be beyond this, like, a basic a build put in. Two Fang was a skill that I was interested in taking to give the Rowan's Call more projectiles, which lets me proc. Let me see if I can find the skill. One, leave no trace. So I want to get back ammo, but that's not as so important on the Rowan's Call. It's more important on other guns. But... It's the Megavore is in, Megavore is one. It's, my, it's our on hit 20% chance to crit no matter what. So if we have we if we have a 25% chance to create an extra projectile, that means that we are getting how much value from this? We're getting an extra bullet every four bullets. So that gives me five shots every time I would get four. How much value is that? That's 125% value from Two Fang. 125% base damage value. And then we take the extra crit chance that we get from the extra shot. We take the, the 125%. What's 125% and 20? So just do quick maths. I have a calculator here actually pulled up on the side. Um, and I actually will add this to OBS as well. Add, watch this. Watch how fast I can do this now. You ready for this? Add window. Come on, there it is. Add, type in calculator, and boom. Look at that. Okay, so we're up. So, we're talking about how much more we're going to be mega boring because of Two Fang. So, I've seen people not take Two Fang. And I was on Reddit the other day, and people were saying drop Two Fang. And I dropped Two Fang in my, my flat gearing guide. So, but in this specific instance with Rowan's Call, which is a single pellet weapon, because I think, I think Two Fang loses value when you use multiple pellet weapons. Anyways, we got a single pellet weapon. So 1.25. I know this is boring borderland stuff, but this is what we have to do. So just to have our peace of mind. So 1.25 is the bonus um, overall damage value. Times the 0 0.20 of Megavore means we are getting 25% more crits. Um, if I did that correctly. It might just be... Yeah, because of the X projectile, we get 25% more crits. Let me know if that math adds up to you guys. Which, when we can crit more, I get this is the most important skill in the skill tree. It's somewhere here. It's the skill that gives you back your action skill on hit. That's the big one. That's like... Whenever Flak scores a critical hit, it's called head count. Whenever Flak scores a critical hit, there's a chance their action skill cooldown is reduced. This is a big one. This has a two second cooldown, but I think you can still stack it. So, the idea. Oh, we, we have Rack Attack on right now. We definitely want to have on Fade Away, especially with our build now. Slap on Fade Away. We're going to do Gorillas in the Mist and Unblinking Eye. 
for max damage output hunter seeker goes out all right so we're gonna add in our new tech which is use this right side as she's doing her attacks oh don't die though a fadeaway is on cooldown hopefully i can get it back quickly that's the idea here so give me a reload give me a fadeaway i honestly did not need to reload because that's it's wasted time with the rolling's call that's why we use it don't don't die oh we got we actually got back on the platform oh yeah we did it twice in a row we're beastly okay the first round of the day don't hold it against me it'll get cleaner as we go so the hope is if we can get our action skill back faster with the rolling's call than with any other gun well not necessarily the monarch but then we never have to stop shooting, stop knocking me off the edge. Oh, nice try, Tyrene. No, seriously, nice try. That was a good fight. I had to fight for my life on the edge right there. I want to make sure I get a Schluter proc. There we go. And a Vault Card level up 103 now. I've, I got to You always got to check out your Vault Card level ups. Open one chest. What's it going to be? Diamond key. Okay, one key. That's fine. So that puts me at how many keys? I'm at three. I can't get a reroll yet on a Super Soldier or Guardian Angel or Bird of Prey. I would like to get another Guardian Angel that I can put U-Rad on. Because um, I'm setting up a Gamma Flak build on the side as I'm doing this. So, Do I have any of the other... I have 13 keys in this one. Is this where the Blade Fury is? Yeah, I think this might be time for me to activate this because I've seen... Blade Fury Flak do interesting things. Okay. Let's do it. We're going to activate the Vault Card, and we're going to spend keys to unlock rewards. Let's see, how, let's see what we got with that Blade Fury. It's not anointed. It's not anointed. I'm going to spend one more key. If that one's not anointed, I'm going to be upset. It's supposed to be anointed, correct? Do do do. Where is it? My blade fury. What we need is honestly. I've been thinking more and more about. Um, did I spend my keys? Oh, I'm, I think I might have actually done on the corruption. Yeah, that's unlucky. If I can find the corruption though. Do 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 do. I do have a 432% Unforgiven, by the way. So I was talking to someone in the comment section. There, there it is, the Corruption. Okay. But that one's not anointed either. Let me know if these guns can come anointed. Because the Super Soldier can. Okay, first run. Hunter Seeker. I don't think I need one. Not at least not one with the same anointment. I'm I'm cherishing my iridium. I'm not spending this unless I absolutely have to. So that's officially our hundred and first run. You guys can see that we have a little bit of a different um, layout here. Hope you guys like. I did more of the mint green because that matches my channel. So. Ready for a fight. Let's go. Oh, I'm running to the wall. Let's go for a max efficiency kill here. Everyone's call me. Let's dodge the attacks this time instead of just tanking them. So we no longer have to climb up or back. Okay, just absolutely, just, just absolutely tanking it when I should be getting the extra damage from the super soldier right now. As long as I keep hitting crits, I think I should be okay. I seem to not get hit by the attacks. Yeah, it's going to slow down my clear. Hopefully these crits can activate my... F yeah, there we go. See right there? I, I didn't get enough. Let's go ahead. Let's try to land some crits. Oh, man. I think if you do land crits while on fadeaway, you get like an even bigger damage, damage boost. That's what it feels like. Because whenever I do actually hit Tyrene, like she just gets ripped. All right, because we were not efficient with our skills and getting hit by attacks, we have to wait for another one. It's not a big deal. What's up, Meat Thief? Oh, we didn't have Skag on. Hey. 
Gotta make sure we get my boy Jasper out here. The Great Horn Skag. Okay, let's see. Can I shoot at it from dead center? I think I can. Yeah, I can. That puts me in a nice position to shoot Tyrene as well. No Schluter active. So if we do get a roll, it's probably a King's Call. <laughs> Just kidding. It'll never be. I, I actually, I put the, the odds um, on screen. I can actually show you guys that real quick. Just to make sure I update my counter here. But I put the odds on screen. Oh man, I can't. I can't do it right now, but the odds to get this drop I'm looking for, the King's Call God Roll, is 0.65%. 0.65%. So, and that is not calculating in which element. So I said, I for my for my own personals, let's go ahead and go for actual crits on Tyrene. If we don't get them, it's no big deal. So what if I... Don't, don't get hit by any of these attacks. There we go. What if I went to the front over here? Is that the secret tech? And then you just rinse Tyrene with this crit city. Well, I was a little bit slow right there. A little bit slow. That might be monarch time. Like we could go monarch when we're when we're chilling right here. The swap. Oh, make sure I hit her in the head right there. Oh, that's an that's a that's a must hit in the head situation. Oof, not clean. These are not clean kills at all. I know I can clean this up. I've done much much cleaner. Okay, shoot her and then get her in the face. Activate fade away. A little bit greedy on that fade away, but we should be fine here. Throw my nade. I'm trying to prove that I don't need the revolter, but it's really looking like we might need the revolter. Oh, she's stomping now. Yep, she's stomping. I didn't do it fast enough. It's okay. This is the price we pay. For not being efficient. I thought my Rowan's call would, would be doing more deeps than this. I gotta make sure that my, my build is... The only thing I've changed out is the Super Soldier. You know, and that's just... That's the damage falloff we are experiencing right now. It's also flak. You have to play the fights well. Like, you're, you don't have damage. Your damage comes in bursts. Right. If you are not being efficient with your fadeaway, like I'm not right here. But I don't mind clearing some of these enemies out. Stick the Rowan's call. Our Schluter was active. Okay, Jericho. Well, action skill active Jericho sounds good. Let's just take it. On action skill and get lifesteal for a short time. That just like sounds super good. Actually, that's what, there we go. Look at that. That's actually really, 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 really good. Okay, so our old one. Okay, so I like to keep one class mod of each type. Okay, and just always keep my best roll. So my old one had weapon reload speed, heavy weapon damage, and Torg weapon projectile speed. Admittedly, pretty decent for a launcher build. But am I really going to go rack attack launcher build? Maybe, but if... If I have to make a cut, it's gone. And instead, if I'm doing a rack attack build, I want something with action skill damage. Now, action skill cooldown rates the next roll that I would like. But, I mean, I could run around with the Rowan's Call, right? With this and just wreck face with it. So, I'm excited. And just keep getting crits. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's going to go crazy. Very nice. So, no get... 103. Let's try to let's try to pump up this efficiency. Let's prove the super soldier can do it by playing our fade away smart. Activate fade away. Just go for damage. Just play it like we know how. I think is my weapon swap speed is so slow that. I'm afraid I won't get my fade away up in time. Let's just let's just make sure that I land crits here. I fade fade away, which means I will not need. Um, it be it's crazy because because I'm not getting the kill fast enough. I actually have to wait out this whole phase. It's a little bit insane. Do I have to wait out another phase here? No, I think I think should become targetable. 
No, it's actually too slow. It's slightly too slow, that revolter, I think. Let's toss grenade out. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Slooter's active. Make sure we get it before she reaches the edge of the platform. Okay. Not the most efficient kill, but it wasn't bad. Recursion. I think it is good, but I don't know when I would be using it. So, like, I'm not really looking for that right now. Blood letter. Mm -mm. I am in the market for a blood letter. Blood letters have to be extremely specific. Okay, this front loader would be nice, but the only time I'm ever using a front loader is for iridium farming. Hey, thank you. Appreciate you. Okay. The only time I'd be using a front loader is for iridium farming, and for that you need an action skill active or action skill and um, elemental anoint, so that you can get more bonus elements on your melee strikes to hit the iridium piles with more elements, which gives you the most amount of iridium. That's why I was saying I was going crazy because I think I had like four or five um, elements going at one time with flak. It's kind of ridiculous. That's without the revolter. No revolter strats used. Okay, so let's see if with a Monarch, we can do this. Okay, so let's be smart about this. Toss me a nade. I'm not shooting between. I gotta make sure I reload here. I'm not shooting between the eyes. Hmm, doesn't even look like it. Oh, that's because I wasn't even in fade away. So this, this is okay. This isn't the end of the world here. Maybe get back some action skill duration there. Back to the center here. Pop you. Enter fade away. That's automatic. Reload. And I get you to the next one. Wow. Absolutely not. Cannot. Maybe if I was standing completely still. Isn't that a, isn't that a flak thing? I can get both damage for standing completely still. It makes you so susceptible to that attack right there. When you play Flak, you can't die, by the way, so it's really not a big deal. <laughs> I, I, I still, I am still shocked that people, that he gets called a glass cannon. Um, I don't know how many of you have tried, like, one life attempts on rogue lands, but if you could have something that revived you, like, as, that is just absolutely broken. And it's like, okay, that, that means it must not be that tanky, right? Or like, it can't be that consistent. No, it's consistent. It's consistent. No Schluter. Okay, carrier. And looks like that's it. Let's grab our Iridium and jump out. Puts us at 105. 105 at 18 minutes. Listen, we didn't get the most runs done, but this is, it's a marathon. It's, it's not a sprint. Okay, and I was looking at my old King's Call. Okay, I was looking at my old King's Call. And where is actually in inventory. I believe that this one is. Let's go to the inspect phase. I believe that the hammer, this one right here, is the proper one. Or if it's not like the best, it's the crit damage one, which makes it okay. And the magazine is is fine. And I think the reload is the fastest it can be as well. Yeah, 1.9 seconds. So the magazine is perfect on this. The hammer is the second best. Like this, is, I have the second best roll on that. It's missing a little bit of damage, but it has bonus crit damage. So it's like, which one's really better? You know. If, if this keeps up, I, I will swap back to Revolter. Yeah. Let's not get hit by this laser. Look, we tried Super Soldier, but this is end game. Like, this is the final boss of the game. Let's just go ahead and swap on our Revolter. Let's do it the old fashioned way. Toss me a nade. That is how it's done. She doesn't even know what to do with herself. She died so fast. She doesn't even know what to do with herself. She died so fast. She does not like this experience. I'm telling you right now. That's that's the strat. No, we just climb. 
Okay, this this monarch is absolutely ripping right now. Get that bipod out. Cost me a nade. I know this is a little bit slower, but it's fun. Ooh, man, the meltation. Good night. We don't have a. We also do not have a pearl of ineffable knowledge on. Just want to put that out there. I could probably get away with an action skill end grenade right now. To be fair. But now that I have Revolter on, I think that we have a lot more options as far as Shredtation. I think the I think the Monarch will do great, and I also think Rowan's Call with Revolter is good enough. Let's go to 106. Let's go. Okay, toss me a nade. Let's try to go to the front of her now. See if we can force this with the Revolter. Okay, go to the front. And then some crits, which is going to give us back our action skill, which we immediately employ. Okay, I really don't think that's bad. Okay. I think we're not getting one immunity phase skip. Other than that, I think it's like pretty goaded. And I have and I get Schluter active for free on the on the on the locals. <laughs> on the passersbys. There we go. Oh, a stopgap? No. Okay, Cosmic Stalker. We have to be a little bit better than that. A rough rider with a rough rider with the iron bear shields and health. That's pretty funny. Oh, a stopgap again. It's very similar, but I don't want I don't want the action skill and stopgap. I'd rather have on action skill. A rec, let's see, rack commander. Oh, it's action skill cooldown rate and sniper rifle damage. Somewhat anti synergistic because sniper rifles are more for boss clearing. Another stopgap. That w a cryostone commander planetoid. Okay, so this is one of the tricks that you can use to get a lot more iridium. Is to use the cryostone commander planetoid. And this will put the, the cryostone effect will give you cryo on your melee. And the Commander Planetoid effect will deal 87 bonus elemental damage whenever you melee an enemy. That includes the Iridium Strike. So every so often, it will roll uh, fire. It will roll shock. It will roll radiation. And as long as it doesn't roll cryo, then you'll get two different elements, which will boost the amount of Iridium you get per smack of Iridium Pile. So, and it switches every five seconds. So you do, as you go, you'll get passive. Sometimes you will strike out, and it will roll, corrosive, or will roll cryo. But you can roll different stones, but anyways. This is not just a cryo stone. You can get like a fire stone as well. There's lots of them. So now, these being exactly the same, it's just about which one of these makes the most is is better with the bottom rolls. And it really does not matter. M movement speed is the big one. So neither one of these rolls movement speed. So I'm actually going to take both and transfer to a different character. Okay. Very cool. You can add other elements to your to your melees using the revolter with an action skill start. However, I don't do that strategy. Instead, I, I use a front loader shield. Mm, Hunter seeker action skill. And if it was a cloning or mitosis, I would take. But let's roll. All right, nade me. Stand still, me. There we go. Let's go to the right side here and see if we get a little bit faster. But you can also use a shield that's act an action skill and shield. It also works. So this is where we fall behind a little bit in damage here. But we can hopefully make up for it. We've been having bad timings. Like the boss has been... Us has been targetable when our fadeaway has been down, but honestly, we're still not doing bad damage. We're still landing a bunch of crits. Doing not bad. 
Egavor doing his thing, obviously. Not the cleanest kill, but Tyrene should be targetable there and there somewhere. Yep, right there. Ooh, just as I enter fade away. Unlucky bis. Um let's take out one of these birds. One of these birds of prey. Hey! Don't don't, don't fly away. Man, that was just a slow kill. Okay. Man. I feel like the the runs are faster when you just climb up up top because it delays your it delays your action skill a little bit. But also not using the monarch. Wow. All right, toss me. Let's see what we get. King's call, sixty three thousand damage. The damage isn't the highest. It's a king's call. I mean, look at it. It's so beautiful down there. It's a fire king's call. Let's let's compare it to my current. Okay, so my current one has higher damage. It rolled damage on the magazine. And this one has no crit damage roll. Mine rolled crit damage on the hammer. So, it's just an unlucky... Ex an unlucky experience for everybody else. My pet's probably like, come on, man. We've been out here for days. Take the king's call. Sorry, bud. Listen, wanna go kill Grave Ward or something? Wanna have fun? He's like, yeah, let's go kill Grave Ward. No. Grave Ward is something you do. Actually, I was killing Grave Ward the other day. Because I don't want to do any... I was feeling like farming and I didn't want to do anything off recording for the king's call. So, and by the way, let's let's rock a little King's Call. Let's go back to the old strats. The old strats right here. So, my, I believe that my Monarch is on slot 1. I want I want it on slot 1. So, let's go yes. King's Call to start here. Made me. And then just rip a little bit of King's Call into her. There we go. And then for this next part, let's grab a... Let's grab a Monarch to get back our action skill as quickly as possible. Go back to King's Call. See if we can get the damage off. Come on. Yes! Oh, it is fast enough. The King's Call is an absolute shredder, by the way. It's an absolute shredtation device. Alright, so we need to go back to Monarch. And just... All we have to do with the Monarch, I should have reloaded beforehand is rip shots. Since we get our action skill back, we use it at the same time as swapping to the King's Call. Oh, you can do it at the same time. It's broken. Get ourselves a, a Schluter Brock and boom. What's up, homie? Now, a big part of that is because our Bounty Hunter rolled with 44% pistol damage. So it, yeah, my pistols are always going to be better. Hey, hey, you Zane players. This is a nice Trevenator for you. Yuck, Zane players. <laughs> to be honest, I used to say the same thing um, about. I have. I actually have one of these basically exact grenades. I used to say the same thing about flak players. My brother would tell me, he'd be like, "Oh, this cool thing about flak." I'm like, and or he used to say something about flak. I'm like, "Oh, that's weird. That doesn't that doesn't sound like Moe's. Or I was like, "That doesn't that doesn't rhyme with bows." <laughs> like, because I just I'm a Moe's main, but. Moe's is a cookie cutter, not cookie cutter, but if there was an easy setting for the game, I think Moe's like is on it just because Iron Bear is just so like so powerful. I, w I wish Iron Bear could kill things, but kill things like in a war of attrition, not because it just one shots the boss. But that is be I also have like God tier, you know, rolls for most of the stuff. So but it's like my thing is it's not hard to get the God tier rolls. Let's go to get a really fan of hammer here. Oh, come on. Yeah, we made it. We made it. Yes. So the King's Call, what makes it really cool and why we're farming it so much is that... Oh, I should have been... I should have been swapping over and reloading. And what makes it so cool is that it, it gives you the bullets back. So we swap. There are Shulur proc. I think we did it fast enough. Oh, we actually didn't. We did it a little bit too slow. I've got to get a little bit more... Efficient and that's gonna be my answer for that efficiency problem Here we go Iron kill no schluter proc 
Get our iridium go. I could, I had the text set up to put up the percentage chance. It would be up top right next to King's Call, but I thought it made the, the graphic too long. Uh, so I kind of like just the King's Call up there. Okay, so toss me a nade, King's Call, get through this first phase ASAP. Okay, now we go to our Monarch, get around. Not to take any damage here. If she goes down, yeah, the right side is where we can get to in a timely fashion. And just... Could have gone a little bit faster there. I think I was fast enough. Yep, I was. It's just because of the raw damage. I'm trying to get used to using the number keys to... To swap weapons. And so it's just taking me a little bit to get used to it. So Q, 2... Yeah, I need to be, I need to use my mouse wheel there, I think, actually. I have Schluter active. Just kidding, it went away. Dang. Still got some drops, and that's a king or queen's call right there. King's call, 63,000 damage. Okay. Man. So basically, I have to get a king's call, and it has to roll 1 in 3 for the hammer and 1 in 3 for the magazine. Shoutouts to the commenter. Who told me that, but I also went and verified. And we worked together on it. So. It's a pretty low chance. Especially because it's, it's a 6% base drop chance. And he made the point, he or she made the point that... Um, it, the King's Call should drop from Troy instead. And I completely agree with that take. Okay, so instead of doing all that crazy stuff, let's just... Get to the right hand side. Rinse, swap. Oh, it's not working. It, swap. Oh, I completely threw this fight. Threw it. Threw it in the gutter. Okay, we can we can get it back. I'm just my muscle memory is messing with me because of the way I'm swapping weapons. Okay. Schluter active this time. Just make sure that we kill something else as well. King is call. No good without fade away. Ooh, no, no fade away, no king's call. That is my resolution. Miss Maxi's bouncing pair. We're getting to that point where I'm starting to become um not I'm not quite at the amount of attempts, but I'm getting close to the amount of attempts where I'm starting to be owed um a king's call. A god roll king's call which is cool like because then i could start feeling like i don't know what the actual amount of attempts is i have to convert i gotta, I gotta convert points zero six five percent to a fraction i guess whatever it's six over a hundred so let's just bring that to the lowest common we can do this arithmetic so six out of a hundred what's the lowest common denominator between those two is it just simply two so it's three out of fifty three out of fifty And then I'll get to this in a second as I'm going for some crit 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 crits on the boss here. Uh, I'm not going to make it in time. Oh, I do make it in time. Okay, maybe I should just Monarch farm it. Immunity phases make fights a little bit wonky. The King's Call is really nice for fights without immunity phases. As I think it's just raw damage output does outdo... The Monarch. I don't know if it, it really is 100%, but it is really strong, at least with my current setup. Nice little Vault card get there. A Queen's Call, 63,000. I do not have a Radiation Queen's Call yet. The thing is, it's a really bad roll. I'll take it, because I can use it to farm Kilovolt. But, man, I... It's just, I don't want to have to use that. I have a shock one. Okay, let's roll. So, 3 over 50 times 1 over 3. Okay, because that's our roll for the magazine, which gives you 10% damage and the fastest reload time. So, 3 over 50 times 1 over 3. We have to get them to the same, to the same value. Let's do that. Where's my calculator? How dare you, calculator? 
get closed out on me. Okay, so we take three divided by fifty, which equals 0. 0.6. I want to get to a frac. Is there a way to get to fractions on this? Yes. Okay. Three divided by fifty times 0. 0.3 times 0. 0.3, and then I want to turn this into. A Is there a way to turn this into a fraction? No, that was not it. So point, point oh six times point three times point three. That's our. That's wrong. Three three times point three three. That's our chances of rolling it. But how many runs is that? That's the question. I would have to maybe write it out on paper. Either way. My, my basic math, like, skills, not what they used to be. For my degree for history, you, you can take either a math or a language. Which is kind of crazy. Nade me. Reload. Cancel the fadeaway animation. Reload. Let's get serious with it. There we go. We definitely have the damage with this gun. This is... This is the big one. Okay. I think we're fine to just go ahead and rip it. Once we see it, we reload. Activate fadeaway. Stand still. Activate fadeaway. Make sure that we have something ripped. We do. GG. It's a pretty quick one. I'm sorry for that completely failed math. Can you guys let me know? Please, somebody, somebody put me out of my misery here. Tell me what the percent chance is fraction-wise. As I'm going to sit here and try to do it in my head. And I do not, I do not care. Okay. 3 over 50. Times 1 over 3. We have to try to get these two to the same common denominator. Right? So, what is the least common denominator between 3 and 50? You could simply multiply the two numbers together. And you get 150. Which I'm not against doing. So, 150 is our new denominator. Let's just get that off the bat. Okay, I, I saved enough of my magazine here to feel comfortable just going for the rip. Reload me. Here we go. Beautiful. Get in position. There's no reason to go for a kill yet. Reload once we see her face. Activate action skill. Cancel the animation. Wow. We just... We bypass? I'm not sure what happened. I thought, I thought we made a bypass to the phase there. Icebreaker Commander Planetoid is pretty interesting as well. I don't think so. I have an Icebreaker Victory Rush and... Uh, so, I think an Icebreaker Snowdrift is probably like the absolute best, but an Icebreaker Victory Rush is good too. I also have a Snowdrift Victory Rush on this character as well, from farming the Destroyer's Rift. So, anyone, so someone did ask, hey, you should probably put on the Pearl, it'll help you out. Yes, it would. But I have the damage, if I play it properly, to get this kill pretty quick. In my executive decision to use the Roman's Call at the start of this video, completely wrong. We are back to the monarch. We're back. We're, we're back where we started. It always, it never left. Okay, reload me. Activate. A little bit slow there, but maybe I'll have an opening. It looks like I'll have an opening based on how mad she's getting, but doesn't. No, might have botched it. But I might have. I mean, it definitely did. Reload. Got our action skill back this time a little bit faster. You go for the ripening. Not bad. Go for a ripping there. This time we st oh, I was gonna say this time we stand still, but you know what? Why don't we just give Tyreen the work? And I might save this discussion for next video, but I've been I've been working on a. And don't worry, we're getting back to the math here in a second. I've been working on a. A discussion BL2 
I don't want to say, oh, come on. Give me a cup purse launch pad. Okay, so I've been working on like, a, not necessarily BL2 versus BL3, but of why I think the story fell flat in BL3. And why it was an unsatisfying game to play. Not even, I mean, I'm, I'm, it's a good game, but I think if you take the same mechanics and you you change certain things that makes them, I would say, a little bit more similar to BL2 and BL1, then you would have had an even, like, an even better game. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, everything will be just my opinion. I really don't think that's bad, even though we don't skip this immunity phase. I think we'll be fine. Good. Let's activate my Revolter and Fade Away, which is Looter Active. Not, not a bad kill at all. Pretty quick. Revenator, Deadeye. We need a little bit more from that Deadeye if I'm going to use it. King's Call, 69,000 damage shock. Ladies and gentlemen, this was the one I wanted because my fire one, my fire one is ready for business. I mean, I, the anoint, the anoint needs a little bit of work, but this one's ready for business. I didn't roll the base damage 69,000, but I rolled the one with the crit damage modifier, which you could argue is even better. I, I really don't know how the math breaks down, but you want both crit damage and bait weapon damage. And I do think that sometimes getting 10% crit can be better. So, this fire one's ready for work. It just needs a better anointment. And I've got the Iridium I've been farming on the side to do it. And I have some extra time in this video. We will be re-rolling anointments here to get some God Roll ones. And maybe even testing them out. Okay. So let's take this, this King's Call. And let's head on back to Sanctuary. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's a shock one. So the King's Call can only roll in shock and fire. So now I have two extremely strong. One God roll. Reload time 1.9 seconds. Damage 69,462. This is the God roll. Magazine size is always going to be six. This thing is going to be one of the best boss shredders against shields in the entire game. Any sort of shielded target, shielded boss, they're not going to like getting hit with this. I, I, I promise you they're not going to like getting hit with that. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's head to Sanctuary. And before I honestly... Because I've being a most player, I've stayed away from shield bosses for so long because you just kind of melt flesh with most. I know you can melt everything, but oh wait, yeah, it was 116 attempts. At, at, so wait, that was attempt. Oh, Tannis, I I thought I deleted the files. Okay, so. And by files, I mean the, the, the audio pack files that's supposed to d mute the entire game. Okay. Let's do this. Let's go to my... Let's go to my King's... Oh, did I already... I, I did have a King's Call. But it was just trash. It was so non-memorable. Okay, so yeah, this, this one, 63,000 damage, just to show the difference. The difference between the two the two versions like the king's call could be really good or it could be really bad i mean it's not terrible but i would say the one on the right is one of the worst one of the worst rolls it doesn't have the crit damage it does not have the weapon damage it does not have the magazine the one on the left is the perfect one so goodbye oh earl she uh do you got anything cool for me flash of color you know, for 155 Iridium, you, you, you got me. Echo themes? Holy. And trinkets? That's a pretty sick trinket. You got me, too, Bren. All right, I'll see you next time. Let's go ahead and reroll our King's Call. 
Okay, here's my thing. Is that better? I don't think so. There we go. While fade away is active, weapon damage is increased by 150%. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an absolute beast. It's it's an absolute beast. I believe this is the first absolute god roll item that I'm adding to my collection. Let's hide UI. Hide UI. Oh, I, I need the UI. Dang it. Let's go back to the inspect screen. Here we go. That's my first 100% god roll. Because my Rowan's call, my radiation Rowan's call, is the highest damage, but it's action skill and weapon damage increased by 100% for a short time. I think... Dude. This guy, he's so mad that I'm here. Okay, okay, you're right. Let's go to King's Call. Let's reroll it. Looking for the same anointment. Yes! And I and I maintain how much iridium? 26,000. I mean, come on. While well, Fadeaway is active, weapon damage is increased by 150%. It's not absolute god roll. I would say it's close. I mean, the god rule is only one person's opinion on the internet, right? I mean, does it is it actually the best speed? If we calc, if it's better, <laughs> I think it's got to be better, right? It's just it's way more damage, so who knows if it's actually better? No, I don't, because I'm not doing the math, obviously. Okay, so do I have anything else that I want to reroll this link? I kind of want to get a terror reroll anoint on this bad boy, so I'll hold off. My Maggie is God rolled, bad anointment. Let's reroll this. Okay, fade away Maggie, complete. Beautiful. Okay, my light shows. I don't think any of these are God rolls, so I'm not going to reroll. I'm gonna go. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna go make sure. I'll be right back. Okay, so I I don't have any God rolls. The two closest that I have to God rolls for my light shows are. This corrosive one and this fire one, which are both at 24,000, when the best damage I can get is 28,000. I don't really have anything else that comes close to that. And I would like to have a light show that can shred. So I'm gonna go for fade away. Oh, consecutive hits. Mm. I think we keep consecutive hits. And my, my corrosive one already has fade away weapon damage. Amazing. Okay. I'm going to get this this light show to a, a usable state. Action skill and cryo damage. That's actually perfect for mobbing. I, I couldn't have asked for a better roll. Mm, action skill and weapon damage. You know what? That's fine. It's not a god roll or anything. My moniker is consecutive hit, so I'm going to keep that the way it is. Action skill and weapon damage on this one's fine. Okay, so my fish slap. Let's do action skill start or generate one grenade. That might be what exactly what I need. My hell walker. Ooh, that's an action skill active hell walker. But I want the while well, fade away is active. Oh, that's wrong. No, how could you do that to me? Yes. Okay, I'm just gonna go make sure. That's a that's another god roll. For the collection. I'm just going to go make sure that... Um, I didn't accidentally take the wrong ones for my light shows. Thinking that was the right fadeaway one. Consecutive hits. And the corrosive one I think is good too. Alright, so my queen's call... My queen's call... Corrosive queen's call needs to get rerolled 100%. Come on, fadeaway weapon damage... Ooh, we are spending a lot this time around. Fade away, weapon damage. Come on. 
Oh, this is hurting. This is hurting me. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. We go down to 9,833 9, Iridium. But my Queen's Call is officially a God Roll Queen's Call. Like an absolute God Roll. So we end up... Let's, let me know if somebody... If there's a better anointment for these. Because I really think that this is the best one. We got another one for our collection here. This Queen's Call goes absolutely crazy. So all of these... I mean, my... Let's, let's pull in all the kings and queens calls from these farms because we're going to be starting a new farm um, next time. So this is the collection that we have here. And let's get our radiation one out here as well. So, yeah, let's let's show off the, the, the screenshot here. We have this Fire King's Call with 66,000 damage, but bonus critical hit damage with WoW Fadeaway. This active weapon damage is increased by 150% anointment. Yeah. Okay. Next up, we have this Shock King's Call. The God Roll. The, the King of the Kings. He is going to be 69,000 damage with Wild Fadeaway's active weapon damage. Next up, we have Queen's Call. 69,000 damage, 462. With Fadeaway as well. And our Queen's Call Radiation that we will be rerolling right now. Holy... It's not even a god roll. It feels so bad to do this. Honestly, you slap on a deathless relic. Okay, let's just use this one. Action skill active. It's not a god roll. It's a decent. It's a decent. It's but it's like these, but a little bit worse. Okay, very very nice. I'm gonna go look up someone. Uh, to shred Tate with some of these weapons and I will be back in a second. Okay, so up first is gonna be Grave Orb. We have our Fire King's Call out. Let's go ahead and try this. One shot and then rip. Oh, that is some nice stuff right there. Beautiful. That's with Sluter as well. So because our Sluter is active after killing him, this is when the loot spawns and then we got our loot drop. Wow. Grave, friend bot. Okay. Let's go on to the next boss. Okay, so next up we have Gigamine. We're going to be using our shock uh, king's call here. That god roll. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was nuts. I mean, that's with Revolter too, but... I mean, I could go to the seer. I don't still have the seer unlocked on this character quite yet. Wow. All right, so I think next we're going to go to Agonizer 9000 and try out our Queen's Call, and that's going to be the last run. Let's go. Okay, so it is a trek to get to Carnivora's platform, but here we are, and I can take off my Snowdrift and everything now. What I might also do is go to Dark Thirst Dominion and take on Hemovorus. I don't know. I might turn that into its own video, though. Farming Hero Vorus with my new King's Call. I mean, that could, that could go pretty hard. So let's go to... Honestly, this doesn't... I don't really have anything that gives me that much damage. Let's just go Schluter. Okay. And we're going to be using our Queen's Call here. Refill my ammo. And make sure that my... I, I kind of wanted to see if I could do it in three shots with the three shot fade away. But let's, let's not this time around. I got my Skag. Cost my nade. Hmm, I have to reload it. Which is strange while I'm in fadeaway. You guys see that? Let's let's save quit that. That was strange. I was I think because I might be too far away from the boss. I need to get a little bit closer. Let's see. Alright, don't troll me. Get a little bit closer to the boss this time. There we go. Much better. Okay, destroy the iridium core. Which one is it? Oh, it's that center spot. And we're gonna go for one more kill because that wasn't as satisfying as I wanted it to be. I'm gonna fan this hammer. And that's not a bad kill because uh, I do want to farm for a a decent plague bearer and 
an EMP 45. So I don't mind killing this boss a couple times. But let's try to get a one shot. I had a reload in there for some reason. I think I might have to get even closer. Okay, toss this. Let's go. Now that's a one shot. Now that is a one shot. Beautiful. So give me that EMP 45. Ooh, that's okay. All right, so. It's it. How much time do it? I might turn that into the next video. So that's going to be it for this one. Hey, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And we ended up getting a really nice collection of kings and queens calls. The one I do not have is the cryo version. Um, but with the, with the big three elements, I call them my corrosive, my shock, and my fire all being up to the task to, to take on bosses. I feel pretty comfortable with this farm being over at exactly... 117 runs. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.